Royal Fairy Tale Scandal Chapter 3 She lives in Hombly Hills, California. She wanted to leave the country to forget all of this, Fair Sarcher Hemsworth said. I can't believe I came to America. Without saying anything to my husband, Ella said. Oh, the gate automatically opened. I thought she also rich. But she lives in a small one-story house. Let's see, Ella said. You must be the Princess Ella Parker. I'm Diana Hemsworth. How did you know that I come here? Ella asked. Oh, my grandma called me. And she told me everything. Sit down, I'll make you a drink, Diana said. So tell me, why did you come all the from London to see me? Diana asked. Your ex-boyfriend now my husband. And I would like to know how serious was it? Ella asked. We engaged. That how serious it was, Diana said. Oh, I see. I love to see your home. Your grandma said. You have wonderful art collection, Ella said. Sure come let's go outside. I have the birds, Diana said. How is he now? I saw him, he was very happy on your wedding day. I watched it on TV, it was live, Diana asked. He's good thanks for asking. I didn't tell any word to anyone that I coming see you, Ella said. Let's have dinner. I bought this house from Kylie Jenner. It's resort style compound, Diana said. I knew you were coming. So I told my chef to cook us a nice dinner, Diana said. It's penna AID vodka. Madame, chef said. While they having dinner, Ella said the whole story how they met and got married. And Diana gave a nice tour to Ella. $36.5 million resort style compound in the Homely Hills area of Los Angeles. Features seven bedrooms and 14 baths. Its own movie theater and a swimming pool, but also for guests houses. Perfect for her supersized extended family. There's also a chef's kitchen and even a dedicated guard's house. Wow, this house is pretty big and beautiful. I though this was a small house, Ella said. Diana laughed. I don't do small. My mother bought this for me. If you want to stay, you can stay. There's plenty of bedrooms and two guests' houses, Diana said. Oh, no, thanks. I have to go this instant. My husband will worry. And it's a three-hour flight trip, Ella said. Oh, I can give you my private jet to you to go London, Diana said. Oh no thanks, I flew from our royal family, Airbus, Ella said with a proud laugh. Very well, then until next time, goodbye Ella, it was pleasure to meet you, and take care of him, Diana said. Goodbye, it was nice to meet you too, and don't worry about him, he's my husband, I'll take care of him, Ella said. Well, that was weird and awkward, like she still own him, Diana talking to herself in silence. Ella went back to the Clarence house, and... Stephanie the maid was spying on Ella's office, and Ella saw her. Hey, what on earth are you doing in my office? Don't you have any boundaries? Get out and do my laundry, Ella said. I was cleaning, madam. I promised I didn't do anything, Stephanie said. You don't tell me what to believe. I'm a princess, you're just a maid. Now, get out from my office, Ella yelled. Where the fuck have you been? I've been calling you, never answered, Brad yelled. I was at Mom's house. For God's sake, stop screaming, Ella yelled back. And your maid have to have some boundaries, Ella said. What did she do? Brad asked. She was spying at my study, Ella said. I don't think so, my love, Brad said dot dot in O. I'm 100% sure, Ella said. Anyway, let's make love, shall we? I missed you, Brad asked. Yes, is. Missed you too, Ella said. After they made love, both went to get shower. And Brad though, I should see Stephanie. She must be worried. Stephanie, what happened? She told me everything. What were you doing? You gonna get us both red-handed, Brad said. Red-handed? We didn't kill anyone. Oh, you mentioned our affair. Well, I can't do this anymore. She's scary. She yelled at me for nothing. I was just cleaning, Stephanie said with crying. Oh, don't get scared. She can't do anything. I'm the head of this house. Not her, she's just my trophy wife. I love you guys more than her. My parents forced me to marry her, so they can continue the bloodline. I wanted someone else. Anyway, let's have sex right here, Brad said. They were having fun in the laundry room for hours. Oh darling, you know just the way to make me happy. You are the best one from all my mistresses, Brad said. I can do this for hours with you, and I can make you come. Are you? Brad said. You already did make me come, sir. And every time, Stephanie said. Now I have to this laundry, Stephanie said, and I can enjoy the view, Brad said. 
You like my ass, sir? Stephanie asked. Like? I wanna be inside of it, Brad said with lark. Oh. You making me horny, sir? Like I wanna get on my knees and suck you off, Stephanie said. Really? Do it then. Show me, Brad asked. Okay, yes, Stephanie said with excitement. After all that fun Brad had, he went to his bedroom, but Ella was already in sleep, and also Brad went to sleep. Stephanie said the fun story she had with Brad in the laundry room to Brad assistant in their staff bedroom. Next day morning Ella went to Highgrove Palace, is the private residence of their majesties, a princes or princesses, locate near Tetbury in Gloucestershire. Ella wanted to do some investigation regarding to Brad's previous love life with Diana. Diana told her she lived in Highgrove with him when they went to high school. However Brad's butler said it's all been renovated after the breakup. But she did some research on his bedroom and closet. She saw a nursery room and a whole closet filled with branded clothes just delicate for her. She tried wearing some of them. Butler said Brad prepared everything for ready to move in just in case. After she tried some of many clothes, she went to downstairs Brad's office and did check his computer to get any information from his ex-girlfriends, but she hasn't got any. She called her mother and took little nap in the home movie theater. End of the chapter 3